Hey, Chris here. I hope you're all doing well. Today, I want to take a look at a bag from Amazon. This is the Amazon Basics Tuck Active Backpack. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. Over the past year or so, I've had a chance to look at some bags from Amazon. What I've really liked about those bags is they're very inexpensive. So I recently came across this bag and wanted to take a closer look. So let's start by taking a look at some exterior features of this bag. So taking a look at the front of the bag, you're gonna have one zip pocket. And I think this pocket is perfect if you want to take a battery with you and charge your device. Battery, your charging cable, even your device can potentially fit in here and give you a place just to store that if necessary. Also the bag's gonna have cup holders on both sides. One unique feature of this bag, it does have the roll top. You're gonna have this plastic clip here that's gonna keep it in place. And if we look at the back of the bag, you're gonna have one grab handle on the top of the bag. Your traditional backpack straps. Some nice padding on the back of the bag. Not much ventilation on this bag though. And one simple feature in this bag that I really love is the fact you're gonna have this piece of material here, this strap, whatever you wanna call it, that's gonna be able to slide over your rolling piece of luggage, the handle. So it gets it off your back and easier to transport this through an airport or to your hotel. And you will see on the back of the bag, there is a place if you wanna put a water bladder in the back to run your hose, straw, whatever you wanna call it, out the back here. And then you will see you're gonna have dual zippers that's gonna give you interior access to this as well. So next, let's take a look inside and wanna give some ideas of how you can potentially use this bag. Next, we'll take a look at the inside of this bag. So one unique feature, like I mentioned, is the fact it does have the roll top. So once we unclip, unroll, there is Velcro on the top here. This is gonna give you access to the inside of the bag. Now turning the bag around and zipping the back will also give you access inside. So there are a couple of pouches. So the front pouch here is one for, if you had shoes you wanted to, to put inside, you potentially could. And then the back of the bag, if you did want to add the water uh, bladder, you can here, and you can hang it some Velcro to get, help keep it secure. I would even feel comfortable if I had an iPad putting it in the back of this bag because it is well padded. So one potential use for this bag would be a small travel bag, whether it's a quick weekend or even say a personal item when you're flying somewhere. So I did want to stuff a packing cube full. So this is one of the Eagle Creek medium clean dirty bags. So I have two pair of shorts, a pair of hiking pants, and I have five t-shirts inside. So I stuffed this really as full as I could. I'm just gonna slide it in the bag and we'll take a quick look when it's packed. just to show what that looks like. To me, that fits in the bag extremely well. So I, as I did mention, I do feel like this would be a potential for a personal item when you fly. I could even see this for maybe a camping bag in some form or fashion. I could also see this if you're um, going on a, um, like a biking trip, add your water bladder, if you wanted to put some extra bottles of water or whatever the case might be, if you needed to put a light rain jacket, if you wanted to put some snacks, things to that effect, you could easily do so. So some different possible uses for this bag. And the fact it does have a roll top, to me would add possibly a, another level of weather resistance. I wouldn't say it's waterproof just from the way the bag feels, but I do like the fact it does have the roll top. Again, can potentially add a little bit more weather protection if you get caught in some kind of rain or light drizzle or whatever the case might be. So to finish, I do want to give just some quick thoughts on this bag. The Amazon Basics Tuck Active Backpack. This bag is currently selling on Amazon for around $23 to $24. I actually picked this bag up as one of their warehouse deals or one of their returns for right around $10. So, wanted to give just some overall thoughts on this bag. 
So for $23 to $24, I really had low expectations of this bag. And as I mentioned before, really the first time besides a dedicated waterproof bag that I've had a chance to look at a bag with a roll top. So I like the fact it's different than just your traditional backpack. So some things I really like about this bag, I love the material. The material feels very durable and should provide just a little extra protection for your items inside. And I actually like the roll top. Like I said, it's different and hopefully it's gonna add just a little bit of ad added weather um, resistance in case you do get caught in that storm or drizzle or whatever the case might be. So I like the fact, uh, again, it does have the roll top. And as I mentioned before, I love the fact it has a strap on the back. Very basic, very simple, but the fact you can put this on your rolling piece of luggage, I love that. The bag overall is comfortable, nothing special, uh, padded backpack straps, um, fits and feels like most other backpacks that you're gonna pick up. I did mention before, there's no ventilation on this bag, so your back will get hot, especially this time of year when you wear this for an extended period of time. So I know, some might say, would this be a good day pack or hiking pack? My short answer is no. And the reason I say that is because the material, like I mentioned, is a little bit thicker, um, adds that level of durability, but it also adds a little bit of additional weight. So it's not gonna be as lightweight as your dedicated day pack is gonna be. But if you're looking for a very inexpensive bag, this would definitely do the trick if necessary. Um, it doesn't have the sternum strap, which for me, I, I love on a, say a day pack and of course doesn't have the waist strap either. So that's something to consider. For me though, the main reason I would use this bag is for those times I need um, a smaller bag for say a personal item, or if I need this when we're traveling as a car bag to put some items in, or a lot of times when we travel, if we had to do an overnight on the way to our destination, we take a bag with some clothes, toiletry bag and things like that, um, just for the night so we can quickly leave the next morning. So I could definitely see this as um, an overnight bag or even a, a weekend top bag as well. So is the bag worth $23, $24? And in my opinion, it is. And the reason being is that for that price point, you're getting a lot of bag here. And I did mention this is an 18 liter bag, but um, to me, it's gonna hold a lot of items in here and provide a, a, a level of protection that you really can't find at that price point. I would even feel comfortable at a 30, 35, maybe even $40 mark for this bag. Once we get 40 and above, there's a lot of other options on the market that you might want to take a closer look at. Um, so really between that 23 to $40 mark, I feel that this is a good choice and a bag you might want to take a closer look at. But to me, if you can grab this bag for say 10 bucks, that's an exceptional deal. So definitely glad I took a, a closer look at this bag. And if you're interested, I will link it below if you want to take just a closer look. So as always, thank you so much for taking time to watch. Please like, subscribe, and leave those comments. Again, thank you so much.